So today we're going to be learning how to fold a pop-up crane. And if you pull the paper apart, it pops up. So, so we're going to learn. I'm going to use a bigger sheet of paper for this because we get into some small details and it's hard to see without a bigger sheet of paper. Uh, you can use whatever size you want. This is made by Jeremy Schaefer. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to fold corner to this corner. So we're going to fold it in half diagonally. Well, I have to release pause it uh, this corner. And fold three corners to the center. Doesn't matter what corners you have, just matters that only three go to the center. Uh, and then we're going to fold one corner to the center and unfold. So basically fold a blitz space and unfold. Uh, then we're going to mountain fold it in half. Fold it along this edge backwards, and we're gonna flip it around. Uh, so this is what it should look like at this point, and we should fold this edge to this edge. Uh, this crease will match up somewhere along here once we fold it. So again, this edge to this edge is a simple valley fold. And then we're gonna unfold it and fold along this crease to here. We are then gonna fold this corner to this corner and unfold. And then we're gonna do a squash fold. So in order to do that, we're gonna open it up, move it apart, and push this down. And then we're going to fold this edge to the center. I'll same with this side. So both sides are going to the center. And then we're going to unfold after this. Then we're gonna open it up and reverse fold it inside. Yeah, we're gonna do an inside reverse fold. So we're gonna fold these inside. And then we're gonna do the same on this side. So again, along this crease to the center. Once you have done that, we're going to fold this up, crease on it. Uh, again, this is very similar to the crane, but it's also very different. Uh, and then we're going to fold on the existing crease, except this time we're folding to all layers. Just on the existing crease. Then we're going to fold in half on this crease that's already there. So this is what it should look like at this point. This is a tricky fold. We're going to fold on this corner and this corner going down. It might line up with the existing crease that's here. So we're going to fold like this. And then we're going to unfold it. And then we're going to kind of, uh, after we're done with this fold, we're going to open 
it up here a bit and you can see these lines here uh, we're gonna fold on those up so just fold it and then crease it so it should look like this this is the neck of the cream uh, after that we're gonna take it and mountain fold on this edge right here so through all layers once you've done that you're gonna unfold it and then along this crease and this crease uh, we're gonna fold it inward kind of reverse fold it okay. we're gonna push it in uh, Kind of difficult. I'll push it in, and we're gonna have this part poking out. So, there. Uh, it should look like this at that point. Uh, if you want, you can fold this point, this point, just to give it a bit more lining. Looks a little better. Uh, you can tell now if you fold it apart. It's kind of like the crane already. But we're still not done yet. Then along this point and this point, we're gonna valley fold it. So first we're gonna open it up, watch me, and then we're gonna push on this point, bending this upward and folding along the two existing creases. And then close it again. So now we're gonna fold uh, we're gonna have the neck point. Uh, it's going to be facing this corner uh, so that you can tell which side I'm on. And we're going to fold this edge across over here, but we're going to do it along the crane's wings. Then we're, gonna un uh, we're not going to unfold it all the way. We're going to open it up, and we're going to squash fold it. Then once we're done with that, uh, we're going to fold it in half again. Unfold it, and we're going to uh, open this up. We're going to watch me do this fold because it's a little tricky. We're going to pull this up, and we're going to push it in and then close it back up again. So we basically just folded this fold inward. And then we're gonna close this. Once we're done with that, we're gonna flip it around and do the same on this side. Valley fold it along the crane's wings. Pull it apart. Squash fold it. And then again, a little tricky fold. We're going to pull this up and push this in. Close it up and fold this over here. Now, once you've done this, uh, we're going to open this up and see it looks like a crane, but without a head. So we need to fold a head. We're going to fold, uh, basically we're going to uh, grab the neck and we're going to valley fold it down at an angle so it looks like a head. Then we're going to unfold it, open up the neck, and fold the head inside of it. So it's inside reverse fold. Uh, the head can be however big you want, the neck can be however big you want, just to taste. Then once we're done with that, we can open it up. And there it is, a crane. So I hope you like it.